Why am I eating all this stuff? Oh my god. I, I just. Yeah. On what? Delivery guys here. Let's just wait a second. Hey guys, it's Kendra. Today I'm starting a new series for you guys a top 10 from Vitacost. So I get a lot of questions from you guys on like what to first start trying when you start using Vitacost to order your gluten-free things, your natural products and whatnot. So I figured I'd do, because I get basically everything from there, like I order just, I mean everything you can think of I order from them. So I'm going to do like um, different categories. So I'm going to start with a sweets category. So this is going to be like baked goods, cookies, chocolate, and that sort of thing. I didn't get any like hard candies because I'm not the biggest fan of that sort of thing. But they do carry like organic jelly beans and gummy worms and that sort of thing online. But this is going to be more baked goods. Uh, but other things that I was going to do is like top 10 drinks, top 10 uh, makeup items, skincare, breakfast items, vitamins, home goods, I could do so many different things. So let me know what you would like to see first in the comments and I will try to kind of arrange those in order of what you guys want to see first. So let's get into this. Also everything here is gluten free so just wanted to let you guys know about that. So up first I have these Pamela cookies. These are called the Simple Bites Gluten Free Non Dairy Chocolate Chip Mini Cookies. Now I used to get these all the time when I lived when Andrew and I were in our old apartment. This is a rice flour base in here. These taste exactly like Chips Ahoy, so if you guys like those cookies, I highly recommend these. I'm not even the biggest fan of like crunchy cookies. I like pretty soft cookies, but these are slightly addicting. They are just delicious, and they're really good on top of ice cream or by themselves, and they get you get a lot in here. They just changed the packaging, but so good. Next I have another Pamela's product. This is the Pecan Shortbread Cookies. I've mentioned these before. I think I mentioned these in a favorites video. But these taste like the most buttery, delicious shortbread cookies ever. They kind of taste like a brown sugar shortbread cookie. They are so good. They're a little bit crumbly, but some uh, gluten-free products are kind of crumbly like that. These are so good at night. Like, if I'm watching any show, American Idol, The Bachelor, which is not on anymore. Um, these are like what I love to eat. And the nice thing is you only need one. I mean, sometimes I do eat more than one, but you don't need that many because they're pretty sweet, so you don't like have to feel like you need to eat the whole package. Next I have some brownies. These are by the company Gluteno, and they are non-GMO. They are double chocolate brownies. They have chocolate chips in here. These are really dangerous to have because they don't taste gluten-free at all. If you're going to like a party or something, this is a great thing to bring as a dessert because a lot of people don't care for gluten-free products because some you can really taste that they are, but these, I mean, I made these, I remember, usually when I get like a gluten-free thing for the first time, I will make it and then I won't tell Andrew that it's gluten-free. And when I told him that these were gluten-free, he was like, what? These are so good. So if you guys like brownies, these are the best gluten-free ones that I've tried. Next up, I have a couple of chocolate bars. The first one, I'm not really sure how this is pronounced. Vosges is V-O-S-G-E-S. -E so this is their organic peanut butter bonbon. It's organic peanut butter. There is pink Himalayan salt, and this is a milk chocolate. So um, usually I get dark chocolate because it's a little better for you. Um, the next one I have is dark chocolate, right? Yeah. But I saw that this says peanut butter, and I like anything that has peanut butter in it. Like, peanut butter and chocolate are my two favorite things of life. I used to get my chocolate bars from Sprouts, but they are so expensive there, it's crazy. So, I started ordering them on Vitacost. Sometimes they melt because I live in a very hot place, but um, I just stick them in the fridge right when my package comes, and then they're totally fine. So, this guy looks like this. And then you get the peanut butter in the middle, but... The peanut butter in this like just tastes so real. It doesn't taste fake or artificial or anything. I just think it's the most delicious peanut butter chocolate I've ever had. This is also USDA organic and I love on the back there's all the stuff to read about. Um, this company is all about bringing awareness to indigenous cultures and I just like that kind of specialty chocolates like this. A lot of them are for a good cause, like this next one I would talk about, so this is a really good one. The next one I have is by Alter Ego and it's their dark coconut toffee organic chocolate. So this is butter and sea salt, crunchy and toasted. 
It's organically grown and fairly traded. Again, it's USDA organic and fair trade certified. And this one, it tastes just like a Toblerone bar. So if you guys like those, this really tastes so much like that. This is also soy-free, gluten-free, non-GMO, no artificial flavors, and no emulsifiers. On the back, it says you can look inside of this package, and it talks about the journey of the farmers who gave up illegal cocoa for the prosperous cacao and reforest the Amazon in the process. So just... I like that these companies are like for a good cause, it just kind of makes me feel a little bit better when I'm eating chocolate, and it's nice to support companies like this. Next up I have a cookie mix that you actually have to bake. This is again by Pamela's. Pamela's has just really good gluten free products that taste normal, they don't taste gluten free. So this is gluten free, wheat free, and non dairy, and it's their chocolate chunk cookie mix. And I've bought this a few times, it's really good. The cookies just taste like... No, I keep saying normal, but it's really hard to make, like to actually bake gluten-free cookies. I've tried so many different types of flours, and every single time it's a fail, like a big fail. So I've just decided to buy the mix, and it's a lot easier, and they taste a lot better. So this is one of my favorites. The other company that I love is by Ginny Bakes. I first found this company at, I think, TJ Maxx. They had this, like, on sale. This is the gluten-free organic non-GMO chocolate chip oatmeal bliss so they have a lot of products too on Vitacost you can um, the Ginny Bakes they have a different you know a bunch of different types of flavors so these are two really good um, mixes next I have these little guys they are called vanilla snackaroons they are yummy mounds of coconut almond goodness they're gluten free certified organic raw and vegan and non GMO so all that's in here is unsweetened coconut organic agave nectar organic almonds extra virgin coconut oil Vanilla extract and pink Himalayan salt. They are just little, like little balls of coconut. They're really good. They're just very like, oh my god, they smell delicious. They're really satisfying. So you don't, again, you don't need to eat a ton of them. You just need one, and it'll fill your sweet tooth. Not recommending you guys to order all of this at once. But whenever you're placing a body cost order, I like to just put like one or two sweet things in there. Have them in the pantry. So if I ever get a craving. I can just have like one of these instead of running out to McDonald's and getting a sundae or go getting Ben and Jerry's, which is what happened last week because I had nothing in the house and I was just like, I need chocolate. You know what I mean? Next I have another type of cookie. Can you guys tell I like cookies? These are by the company Enjoy Life. Enjoy Life has a lot of good gluten-free items as well. These are the snickerdoodle kind and they are, there's no artificial anything in here. They are dairy-free, nut-free, and soy-free. These are actually one of the first gluten-free cookies that I ever tried that I was like, wow, these are actually good because I just had a really bad experience trying gluten-free foods. Everything just tasted awful that I bought. And then I was like, oh, there are actually some things that actually taste good. So these are really soft cookies. So if you guys like soft cookies, I will open them up to show you. Then these you will love. And so they come in a thing like this. I kind of want to bite. Mm. So good. Are you guys hungry yet? <laughs> Next I have these Justin's Dark Chocolate Peanut Butter Cups. So these come with individually wrapped chocolate cups, which is why I like them. I like to keep these in the fridge or the freezer, and if you really want like an actual candy, then these are good because they taste just like Reese's, and they're dark chocolate, so they're a little bit better. They are uh, USDA organic, and I mean, obviously it's not like this is like really healthy for you, but again, if you have a sweet tooth and you have a craving and you need to fulfill it, then this is better than getting a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Okay, two more things. This is the brand 479 Degrees. This is their sea salt caramel popcorn. They have a ton of different gourmet popcorns. I think this is the only one I've tried. I'm in love with caramel corn. Like, it's the best. If you guys like zebra corn, is that what it's called? Zebra? And it has chocolate and caramel and all that. Oh, yum. So this is air popped, no trans fat, no artificial anything in here, all natural, certified kosher, non-GMO, Whole grain. I love popcorn. I love white cheddar popcorn. That's probably my favorite. Uh, but sometimes a sweet popcorn sounds good. So I like having this or white cheddar popcorn. And this is, again, like really good. If you're watching TV, don't eat it out of just the bag because you will like eat the entire thing. I just pour a little bit into a little bowl and just have that. Last but not least, if you guys like Teddy Grahams, this is for you. This is by Annie's. And this is the Snickerdoodle Cinnamon Sugar Gluten-Free Bunny Cookies. No artificial flavors, 
synthetic colors, preservatives, it's made with rice and corn flour, and it's gluten and peanut free. So just FYI, this is sold like at Albertsons, but I don't think the gluten free one sold at Albertsons because last time I got this, I I bought it thinking it was gluten free and it wasn't gluten free. Um, so just make sure you check the top, that's where it says gluten free or not. But these taste just like the honey Teddy Grahams, like identical, it's crazy. They might even taste better actually to me because the Teddy Grahams kind of taste artificial because they are artificial, but these just taste real and delicious of cinnamon. So this is a great thing to have like if you're going on a road trip, these are good to have in the car. So those are my favorite sweets that I get from Vitacost. I don't order all of these all the time, I just want you guys to know that. Like every now and then I'll order some of these, but if you guys have a sweet tooth, then these are the things that I have tried over and over again and they all are just so yummy. If you guys have some other favorites that I have not mentioned, put them in the comments down below and also make sure to comment down below what you guys want to see next for a top 10 series. If you guys are not subscribed, you can subscribe right here to see all of my future uploads. I also just did a beauty haul, so I will put that right here, you can click on, and I got some stuff from the Sephora VIB sale, some stuff from the makeup show I went to in LA a couple weeks ago, so a bunch of different beauty items. And if you missed out my review on the CoverFX custom cover drops, I show here how to use them, what they look like, I apply them to my skin, they are so awesome. If you guys are looking for a new foundation, definitely recommend checking them out. So that is it for today, I hope you guys are having a great week so far, and I will see you soon. Bye!